to export the user circuit from one system to another system. Last class we were discussing how to export the role from one system to another system. Where we done go for transition for PFC so you can base. And now here, okay. Now I have I want to export the user so the PFC will be handled by button, but the user efficient is not required. How to transport it? So it's an indirect method, not direct method. So how to export the users from one system to another system? Okay. So go for transaction code SSC seven. Sorry, SSC eight. Now go to SAP server. No, no, this is the GLC, the GRC, so the GRC, yes, or the, sorry, GRC, yes, or something like that, yes. Come on. Okay, so GRC, the rate was 7.89. What happened? Let me. GRC. GSR 23 and GS GRC at the rate 789. Come on. Again, you're getting a name and password. Why? Uh, enter the 200 line. Take the 200 line. Otherwise, take my server. I think there is a yeah, don't disturb the server. There is a GR server. Okay, okay. okay. Now I'm going to SAP G. Shake it is better. It's a GR server. No need to this. So I have to go for our server. Basis starting. Go for SAP GUI. Log off, log off, log off. This is a close the remote desktop connection. I have to log off. Yes. Are you close this? Close this remote desktop connection. Okay, you want me to close this one? Okay. Yes, you can log on as if it's GUI. In your desktop GUI is there, log on as if it's GUI. What's the difference? Uh, it's a remote desktop. It's a, both are different, different servers. Okay. So we are asking remote test that this is GIC server, this is the basis server. Okay. So we log on to basis starting. Basis starting and password is basis at rate one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now yes. here, what is our target? I want to export the users from one system to another system. How to, how to export it? Okay, then go for transaction code SCC8. What is SCC? SCC8. SCC8. Okay, what is SSA actually? Client export. Sir, you say user export, now you say client user, uh, sorry, SSA is a client export, but uh, you say yes, I want to export the users. Why are you coming to here? Actually, we you know definition of the client, uh, like uh, in addition, uh, last class you discussed, like uh, client contains three types of data one is for user master data, application data, and next one is the customizing data. So, as per your requirement, so I want exporting as a user data means I want exporting a user master record at the time what we do I want to selecting as a SAP underscore user at the time what happened in 800 what are the user is will everything export from one system to another system so everything is exported okay 
So yeah. suppose I instead of I want to selecting as SAP underscore all at that time what happened? Instead of uh, 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 what a profile by default selecting SAP underscore yes sir. Okay. Yeah. At that time what happened? All user master requests will be transported, exported from one system to another system. Okay. okay. And now here, okay. Now here I want to export it. So I want to selecting as a profile SAP underscore yes sir. Instead of that, I want to select as SAP underscore or what happened? I want to enter, export enter the client. The two topic okay. Okay? how to export the user, how to export the client. So how to okay. export the user? I selecting as a profile SAP underscore yes sir. At the time, what happened? Only user data will be exported. Suppose I want to selecting SAP underscore all at the time, what happened? Entire clients will be exported. Okay. okay, so this is the indirect method. So that's why, and when you go for anywhere getting as a uh, truck button is nothing but we can export it directly. No, when when you say SAP underscore uh, user and all, SAP underscore all, yes. uh, all clients are exported. Uh, uh, what's the difference between a user and client? User, so I said the client contain user. User does not contain clients. Okay. Okay. Nine so in user ID, user ID will be having as a so now we 800 clients you are creating the user ID. Under 800, what is the user ID will be there? Everything is so. So you have to log on to 800 client. You have to create the user ID. This means that is coming to only user data. So in client, that, so you log on to so and so you don't creating any client. Okay. Okay. So client yeah. has been three types of data. There is a user master record and Okay, user master okay. Data. Client is nothing but who are working on like your BMW or so on so client and user is nothing but like basis consultant, security consultant, any consultant naming condition. That all user ID is. is normal definition is client contain user, user does not contain clients. So yeah. under client icon transporting as a user, then you are selecting as a SAP underscore or uh, SAP underscore user. What happened? Only user data will be transported. Okay. okay. Suppose I'm selecting a SAP underscore what, what, all, what happened? Our overall data will be copied. Entire client will be exported. Okay. So select the profile and yeah. Then target system. Yeah. Target system. Select the target system. Browse it. So what is our target system? Our target system is the quality server. Okay, sir, what okay. is the meaning of what is the difference between the target system and target group is nothing but so target system is like quality system or production system. Target group is okay. nothing but so I want to transporting as a uh, data, I want to export the data with the multiple clients at a time. So I thought you selecting as a target group. Okay. okay. Now I don't have any groups. Okay. Now I don't have any group. Okay. okay, then what we'll do and I want to select this target system. So how to create a target group? Let me discuss later. Okay. Yeah. Now select that or just browse it. Select the target system. What is the target system? Is quality. So what is the RQ RQT? RQT. Oh, that is testing the RQ that is you are creating it. Oh no, 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 that's not that. That is a very creative operation system. You want this one, yeah? Yes. Those are Excel virtual servers. Okay, not physically existing. Okay, then click okay. that. Okay button. Okay. Okay, now just start immediately. So I want to export the data now. Start immediately. Okay, now what happened? What if I can say that what a data is exported? Only a user data is exported. What a data, user data and application because I'm selecting as a SAP underscore yes sir. Suppose I'm selecting SAP underscore all, what happened? Every every checkbox will be like the like customizing data, flowers and authorization profile, application data, change the document, user data and cross application, everything is transported. Then click on continue. Just click on continue. Now tell me what is the request is getting now? Sir, when you're exporting the role, you're getting at the customized request. When you're exporting a table, you're getting as a workbench request. Now I want exporting as a 
users what a what type of request is came yeah authorization and profiles and user data only yeah no, no i'm say uh, i'm asking what is the request is getting so last class you discuss i want exporting as a rules from one system as you getting as a one tr yeah, transport request i said daily minimum daily working at 22 it's at 30 years you can relay even i'm sure the extra sheet also how the trans uh, trias will be looking like yeah okay now here i want exporting as a rules you are getting as a customized request why i'm getting as a customized request because i'm transporting as a client specific data that's why you're getting as a customizing request so i want exporting okay. the tables what happened you are getting as a workbench request because i'm tra i'm transporting as a cross client data now i want to export the user what type of request is came into picture what type of request will be came what type of request what is came customizing yeah. or workbench it's a customized one right no no customizing no so everything is just click on continue if there's a difference just click on continue so you're getting as a both actually the users will be and the standard users will be there customizing users is there customizing users are su01 now see the description so when exporting the three clients will be up so three requests will be what are the three requests here first request is this the cable so also number so transporting the client specific data what do you mean a client specific data sap star dbic and every watch these are the user ids are class client because uh, i want exporting other these three users so you can select the request and next one is a kt what is the meaning of kt kt means for transport transporting data. data i mean su01 what are the user id will creating the user id will be exporting by default you don't select anything by default you taking the kt wall and what is the meaning of kx yeah k k x right yes yeah transporting client specific text provided in class text text. there is no user only description will be going only last name will be going not for user ids so below you see now, now here when the transport request is created successful below see here the data exported asynchronously by starting the transport program from at operating system level it will taking a several hours depending on the data and where we see the logs you have to go for see the logs are rsc3 transition code rsc01 transition Okay, then click on continue. You don't select anything. By default, you're taking the KT. What is the meaning of KT? I want exporting the client specific data. Means in SU01, what are the users I'm creating? Everything exported. Then just click on OK button. Now export is started. Okay, just click on continue. So it will take some time. Okay, so where we see the logs? Go for transition again. Go for SSC3. Uh, Let's go for SSC3. Go for SAP login screen. Go for, SAP, uh, go for SAP login screen. Okay, login. Basis 13. Yeah, see, see basis 13. SSC3 client copy log analysis. SSC3. Copy. Okay, just click on exports. You're doing export only now. Just click on export. Click on export, yeah. Okay, just double click on that. And see the transport log and again what is what is that? Ten double click on that. Double click on that. Okay. So is that what happened? So where is what is status you're getting? R3 trans exporting as SC01. So you want to release the request. Yeah. Go for transition for SC01. Remember this request naming. What is the naming convention? ECC KD 1076. Okay, remember this request. Now go for transition code SC01. SSC01. 
S is zero one. S E E for elephant, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See the status. Status is three. S C zero one. Yes. Slash and user slash and. Okay. Now enter the request. Just click on request. What is the request? Go for display. Go for display tab. Yeah. Okay, to enter the request name, ECC KT one zero one zero seventy six. ECC KT star project, just project star putting as star project. Check yeah. Project. First one yeah. Oh, today is seventy four or seventy seventy six now. Our request is seventy six. Just enter seventy six. Seventy six is not there. Select the seventy six. Yeah. But it's not there, right? Yes, yeah, not there. So yeah, type then, it manually. One minute. KT zero one zero seven four seventy six seventy six seven six. Let's set that one again. Enter manually. It's manually and no issues. Just click on OK button. Execution. Execution better. Execution. OK. No request response. Once go back. Uh, go for logs. Go for SC zero one and SC zero one. Again, go for SC zero one. Okay. It's not there. No, no, no. No need to browse. Just close this. Close this. I think the request is different because of the request is KT request. Just click on this. No, no worry. We just click on. Keep uh, below is then a request status uh, released and modified. Uh, we get in the log status. Just click on log display once. Okay, log display. What did it happen? You checking export is done or not? Go for log display. Yes. Close this. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, previous screen. Close this. Close this. Previous screen is there, now. KT. Close. Close. Hold on. Everything is working. Much request. Customized request. Space is thirteen seventy five. Is there? What is the request? Seventy six, now. The beginning seventy six. Uh, uh, Shakir, we have to open. Already, we have to open one more screen, now. We yeah, already open one more screen. Yeah, just click on open that. Open that screen. Client export screen. Client export screen. Yes. Click on log this page. Or click on exports once. Exports, exports. Again, double, double, same only. Number double click. Double click on that status.
is not exported. It's 175, right? 175, 166. 175. I'm not able to see. That's why I'm asking. 176 or 175? It's 175. Okay, okay. 175. That is the difference. It's not doing now. So 175. Okay, go for SE01. No, 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 S S K T. Putting either K T. Yeah, 174 and 175, yeah? No, no, 75 is yours. 74 is different guy. How did you understand that? No, no, is there now? Your basis, just now you're doing over the time. You see, SSC likes you checking now. In SSC, you can check the logs and everything now. There only will be there. What a time and what is the thing, everything is there now. Click on execution. Ex no, this is no, no, click on execution. 74 is not, if somebody doing that, that is also last okay. one month, last one week on Okay. I'll show you again one second. Okay, then click on execution button. Execution button, yes. Okay. Now again, select the request. Then no, 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 it just select it. This one, yeah. Twenty-five. Yes, yes. They click on OK. Okay, then click on logs. Exported. What happened? Not as executed successfully because now you are not released. Wait, 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 wait. You can release that. We take some okay. So again, expand the turn. Now we get a red color. Why it is not at excluded? Close this. No logs are found. Okay, fine. Actually, actually, you are not. You don't have a target server. Now, you once go for this, just click on import button. Go for STMS once. Okay, then click on import button. Import button. This refresh me. Now six requests only. Not getting here. I think uh, you are doing as a quality and development both will be the same. Not just double click on it. Six only there. Not seven is not there. So he's not there. That is KD request is not there. Why it's not coming? I think actually the target server is quality server. Now you log on to quality server. You want to check the logs. That's why it's not coming to here. The quality server you don't have the quality server. That is a virtual na virtual base na. That's why reason. Okay. So now here, uh, then go back once. You actually, you don't understand the process. I think the sort immediately start and check the logs, so as per the requirement and normal process. Everything is normal. Okay, so then go back. Yeah. Now, once you do it, now you want to go for post import and then go for transition port SSC 7. This is a normal one. You can go for SSC 7. You can do the post import. Post import SSC 7. Okay, now start. Just click on OK button. Now what is this? This is the call as a importing method. Close this. Ignore that message. Now you see here post client import method. By default, what the request is getting? SSC KT 1075. 
Okay, yeah. and username and profile name. Now I want importing again. Just click on import start immediately. Just click on start. Now what happened? What did I say? See here, client import post processing. Already you're importing. Where are you importing? In quality server, in STM is importing. Again, you want to do the post importation. It's called you go for SS7, you want importing again. Then click on continuation. So this is a way of exporting the users and import the users from one system to another system. They take a lot of time, no issues. Again, where we check it? Go for transition SSC 7, sorry, SSC 3. Check the logs whether the importing successfully or not. S S S E S C C three yeah yes. Okay, it's processing. Double click on it. Uh, see here what happened. This is that in client import process. What the components is there? Just with the data will be processing. Post importing process. Okay. What happened? You're doing as reverse method. Target is same and uh, client is source is same. You're doing here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Copy type client import. Yes. Post processing. Profiles app user status processing. Okay, so next one how to export the client? Okay, same process. So, next one is how to export the client from one system to another system. Too much time will be taken because of I said it's too much, too much time will because again log on go for login screen. Log on again. Yeah, again log on. Now log on to the triple zero client because of his process is going there. Now I as you ask you know when you select the target system, what are the options you're getting? You're getting it there. So target system is a target system and Target group. Sir, what is the meaning of log on to triple zero client? Triple zero client username is the ABSS 13. Because of now, I want to configure as a transport target group. What is the meaning of transport target group? Is nothing but I want to transfer the data with the multiple clients by using as a okay transport target group option. Previously, we selecting as a radio button is target system. Now, I want to select it as a target target group. Okay. Okay, user account valid expiration. Okay, okay. No, no, no. Go for 800 client. Use we see uh, the data is valid. This way, the gain is not trusted. It's our data. Okay. Enter the client number 800. Client is already so you don't do anything here. Okay, okay. The server will start. Already log. Just check it. The server is like, check it. Not the go. Check it. That those are anything log is display. Just check it. Any screen. Any screen is free.
So this is basically yeah. Yeah, go for transition guess TMS. MS STMS slash n use the slash n STMS okay let's select the fourth icon transport group fourth icon add the transport group fourth icon fourth icon yes transport routes Okay, now click on change button. Now click on change button. Okay, go for main menu, edit button. How to create the transport target group? Go for main menu, edit. Okay, select the transport target group. Below one, below one, not transport group, target group. I want to create a target group. How to create a transport target group? What the use of is? I want to transfer the data with multiple clients within the same system or different system. Just click on create button. Okay, now enter the group name. Group name should be starting with slash ending with slash. Enter a new group name. Slash basis slash. Starting with slash and ending with slash compulsory. Okay, give the short description. Okay, and below is then a client assignment. Just click on client assignment. Click on client assignment. Okay, now select the target system and target client. Both. First one is the target system column and second one is the target client. So what is our target client? Now our target is quality. So quality I want to go for. So now you have to select the quality. You want to get any client IDs. Just click on OK button. Browsing, so you don't get anything because you don't have quality server. You just see the virtual server. Now in real time, just assume we want to taking as a quality server. Now just take the current. Now you don't have just assume you take the system. Uh, system is ECC. Remove the quality system and take the target is ECC. Okay. Because of I don't know. No, no, no. Target not target system. I said target system not for target client. Target system is ECC. Yes. Okay. Because of, I don't have quality server. Just assume I say I would be doing wrong, but you just, just assume. You don't have any other option. Na? So select the target system yeah. ECC and next select the target client. Okay. Now select the client. Any client. Okay, 200 client, 300, 301 client, select it and select any one client. First client, okay, okay, click on okay button. Okay, so, okay, no, no, why? Yeah, I want to add in multiple clients. That's the thing. Okay, no need, okay, fine, fine. Now you're getting as one window color that the group is there just to drag and drop into the work area. Just drag and drop. Double click on other way, double click on it. So now here. So what I use of target group? So I want to transport in the data. Okay, I want to transfer the data with the multiple clients with the multiple system by, by default. So by using as a transport target group. Okay. okay. So this is the way of you're doing as a transport target group from so. Now I want to go for client export method. So go for transition code SSCH. Now I want to export the client. Previously, sorry, how to export the users? Now I want to export the client. We take a lot of time. You can schedule the background more. Okay, no problem. Then go for transition code SSCH. How to export the client from one system to another system? Okay, it's waiting. What do we give? It's completed. Then only let's go for next one. 
okay wait okay. and here i want to explain some theory part okay so how it is going and how we looking at so i share my screen uh, okay are you able to see my screen now one minute yes i can see your screen so now see here till now what we discussed once you had recap okay so this is my landscape okay what is your landscape okay. so my landscape is i have three servers one is for development server one is for quality server one is for the production server okay in production the every system i want to differentiate the data how to differentiate the data based on the system. sandbox and based on sorry based on the system based on the so client so based on the client id client id for 100 for sandbox 200 for testing and for 300 for customizing and quality assurance and training and sandbox again so i want to start any project minimum how many clients is needed minimum six clients is needed okay minimum okay. six clients is needed there is and development is compulsory three is required quality is two is required and production is one is required now i want to export the i want to export the data between the like one system first of all what we do i want to do is internal movement like i want to do the customizing i want to transporting so you guys think as a local 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 client copy rs you can do the same thing from rs you can do the what we do rs you can do the client import and method so exporting like client import by sorry client export method and client import by sync in the same system also once testing internal testing is done then i want to moving into the quality assurance once quality assurance is done then i want to export into the production server Suppose quality is failure again. What we do? Again, you want to go back to the development server. So this is the normal export import process to start with the TMS. Now see here. So now tell me this diagram. What happened this diagram? So tell me this diagram and explain it. What happened this diagram? Okay. This yeah. In this, this one, there is a yes. Yeah. There is a first of all client request is going to customize and a test system. and then uh, yeah from there it is going to the quality system transports are required to move to the exact landscape so now i have two yeah. servers one is the development server one is the quality server okay development server two clients is there okay and production is the one client so customizing client who are login customer like like abab consultant or basis consultant anybody changing some data once those are customizing where we moving the data is moving to the internal testing once internal testing is done then after that we want to export it to the quality system okay so transports okay. are moving to required to move the one system to another system okay okay Let's diagram yeah. all right okay now next one so now what my requirement is so what we do based on requirement i want to configure the tms what is meaning of tms now see here so the transaction codes are how to convert the tms by the transaction code stms okay where we see the workbench request sc09 so you want to change the class client data we are getting as a workbench request when you change the data uh, sorry so if you do any changes in the class client specific data we are getting as a customizing request okay where with this overall so where you see this means sc10 is a transport organization this all transaction codes will be hang as a only one screen come to practical everything is common okay but only theoretical only is different when you go for practical session the transaction three transaction will be located in only one place so this is the sap level and when you go for os level you get two tools this is the os level okay os level and the above one is the sap level so when you go for os level automatically i say the one direct will be created through with this tool tp is nothing but transport control programming r3 trans r3 transportation directory so these are two tools two transport tools from we are transfer the data between the os level from one system to another system okay when you configure tms automatically it is generating all all those this okay and so next one here so how to configure the so this is the architecture so now i have development server quality server and production server first of all what we do i want to exporting data from where we so this is the os level what is this path vsr/sap/trans directory okay vsr/sap/trans directory 
So I want to import in the data. Where are we importing? I want to import in that. So export the data between the. You're doing SAP level. We're doing as SAP level, but automatically what happened? It will be storing as a OS level also. Where is store? With this directory. After that, again, what we we'll do? You want to go for transaction to HTML? Just click on import button. Again, depending the data, the data will be in OS level. The data importing to the SAP level. Again, you want importing. You have to go for production level also. There. So this is the you are able to see this SAP level only just now. But OS level packet will be going this levels. And you just click on export button. What happened? The data is export. You get the request and everything is fine. But actually in OS level, what happened? Does everything will be storing it? What is the directory? In transport directory will be storing the data. Okay. okay. After that, again you want to do importing from quality server, importing from production server. Because why I am importing is nothing but the data will be to the OS directory only. Okay, that's okay. why I say PMS configuration of physical existing connection between the three systems. When you go for RFC, okay. what happens is a network based. But these are yeah. the physical existing directory you are using. Yeah. Okay. And next one is the physical transport routes. And so this is the transport directory. So development server is there, and quality server is there, production server also there. So three systems will be having as a common shared directory that is called as a transport directory. Again, transport directory will be having these folders: bin folder, data folder. Bin folder will be storing as a all standard configuration of SAP. Sorry, standard configuration of TMS. Okay, data files will be go for data files, old data files. Log files. What is the meaning of log here? Successfully importing or finished or any errors or anything is go for here. And actual log buffer under buffer files like quality buffer, extra and production buffer and so everything folders will be there. And control files and SAP names is nothing but owner name. Who are sending this request? Who are delivering the request? Who are the release request? Who are the approval? Everything is go for so this type. And EPS is nothing but support packages. Electronic parcel services will be storing this directory and temp is nothing but temporary files will be storing this directory. So when you configure TMS at SAP level, automatically the trans directory will be creating into the transport directory. By default, will be good. Again, different different folders will be there. So you do configuration automatically, export, import, everything will be storing in different different directories. Okay, what is now, this SAP name? Sorry? SAP, SAP names, what is that? Owner names, owner like uh, owner is nothing but who are the creator. So now you have to create the request. Okay. okay. Now you have to create the checkmate yeah. and that is that user ID. That user ID will be storing as like a basis 30. So that will be okay. storing to OS level. Okay. Owner of the request. Okay. So these are the folders is available in OS level. Bin data. When you say data, so yeah. is it just the Transport data or is it something you know uh, all the data we no, no, only that long transport directly transport directly will be storing us only transport data transport. Okay, perfect. Perfect. okay then how to configure the now see here so how to configure the TMS now see the concept centralized configuration of the change and transport system for all SAP system means where you do the configuration so you want to log on to triple zero client, you do any changes, you do the centralized. Remaining all clients will be evacuated. Okay. okay. So next one here. So this is the, what is this? So here every company will be having the same landscape. Now see here, system landscape for Asian. Okay, and implementation for the system landscape for European. Any country will be having the same landscape. What is the meaning of landscape? Land, landscape. Landscape. What is landscape? Landscape is nothing but grouping of system. system. What systems is there? So development system and quality system and production system for Asian. And European also development system and quality system and production system. So anywhere in the systems is common, just arrangement is the same. Just naming convention only different. Remaining everything is common. Okay. So Okay, what is meaning of transport directory? Okay, what is how to centralize it? This is document how to move with it and how to creating as a TMS configuration. When you configure TMS by default, getting as one user ID. Okay. destination where we create it. These are settings where we do again here. 
So how many landscape is there? Single system landscape, two system landscape, three system landscape. So where we configure the DMS, hierarchical editor, graphical editor. So, so this is what is the meaning of rules? Rules can be divided into two types. One is for consolidation rule and one is for delivery rule. What is the consolidation rule? What is the delivery rule? Consolidation is nothing but development to quality is called the consolidation rule. Delivery is nothing but quality to production, production. called as a delivery rule. Okay, what are this? This is called as the transport layer. Again, transport layer can be divided into two types. One is for customizing transport layer, one is for standard transport. So, this is a carrier. Okay, and next one, this is the editor. Just now it is the so okay, development system, standard layer, okay, deliver routes and production. We can do the configuration in graphical editor. So, how by default, when you call the automatically, when RFCs came into picture, this is the hierarchical editor, this is manually report. Okay, and now what is this yellow color? Just now we're doing what is this? What yes, is we this? have client. We, we copied the client. Uh -huh. We have Transport created the target group. Okay, so yeah. I want to transfer the data. Means I want to transfer the data from quality to one production. In production, I want to transfer the between two clients and testing. Now, what we do at a time, I want to transfer the data. So, multiple clients. What we do, you want to making as a two, these two clients as a one group, and you want to make a connection between these two. That is the meaning of transport target group. Okay, transferring the data with the multiple clients at a time into the target systems. Again, CTS, now see here, time quality assurance. Well, suppose you want to go for development, development to quality. Well, development is done, then go for quality assurance, then it is go for production. Okay, production is done, again the same. Frame is again, how to check whether the PMS is connected successfully or not. So, See here how to check whether TMS is configured. Is it? So looking wise is very nice, but when you go for practical session, how we say the TMS is configured successfully or not? So you want to log on to the. Now see here how to check whether the TMS is configured successfully or not. Yeah, any other is ready? Yes. Okay, how to check whether the TMS can be successful and go for translation code SE38, run the report in RSTP test to check the, whether the TMS can be successfully or not. Just click on execution button. Okay, now expand one by one. So everything is what happened, everything is the green color. Tick must here, transport inference yeah. connect only. Okay, transport profile is everything is correct. RFC is correct. RFC connection is correct. Transport color is everything. Anything is yellow color. So your transport connection is not clear successfully. Now see what the transport directory. So ESR slash SAP slash trans directory. What is the version number? What is the host name? When you log on. Okay. When you log on. And what is the path? ESR slash SAP slash trans slash bin that time domain. Okay. Profile name and version number. RC destination name. Path. Okay, up to pinging. Okay, everything is a green color. So at the time, see here what we are checking. We are checking as a how to check RFC connection type, transport and check and transport everything. So how to check? Go for transition code SC38. Run the report name is RSTP test. RSTP test. So whether the TMS config is successfully or you can check it one by one here. Okay, this is a physical existing one. So this is a configuration and it's normal and customizing the project. Okay, so what is this? What is the transition for customizing the organization? So how to release the request? So using as a, so request can be delivered how many times? Customizing request, workbench request, and transport of copies and relocation. Where we see, uh, when you get the customized request, undo any changes in class class, class specific, we can customize request. 
when you are getting the workbench request, you do any changes in the uh, cross client data, you are getting as a workbench request. Okay, so based on require get the request. Okay, and where you see this uh, customizing item is go for transition code SC10. Last class you discussed this. So I want to releasing as, as an administrator what we do directly on the buffer. I want to give the approval. So means release you want to get in the parent request, child request. So request you can just click on release it. So as per the requirement. Okay, that's customized organization. So how to send the customizing organization where we check. So using as a customizing organization. And where you recording, how the recording is going on, how the transportation is going is a normal page. No? And next one, one transition is the SSC one. Risk studies also. What is SSC one? Client copy by using as a transport request. Still now it is a local client to copy, remote client to copy, client to for one more method also there. Client to copy by using transport request. So I want to create the one client. Again, what we do? So I want to create a one client. Again, I want to create one transport request. So I want to using the transport request. I want to do the copy between the two requests here. What a request here? What a transition code? So based on so what happened only transfer the class specific data. Okay. Class specific data with the customer data. So that we will discuss once you survey it up. So next one. Everything is theory. Uh, what a theory point only. Again, so client can be given two types, change the request. So when you get the change, when you're getting as a request request, when you get a customer request, these all are client specific data. When you change any class specific data, you're getting as a customer request. These all are cross client data. You do any cross client, you're getting as a workbench request. Okay. Yeah. So where you see the transition code, this transition code is SC01 and this is the SC10. How the implementation guide? This is normal one. And what is the difference between the SC09 and SC10? It's a normal difference, okay? It's a customizing, it's a workbench, and that piece will be there, that piece will be generated. Okay, this is the workbench of SC09. And SC, this is the only app guys will be having this. So, sorry, the options. So, task, how this normal objects, maybe what? And how to check the logs. So what is meaning of zero? zero I will get that in course. Second. So how to export, how to import zero. So this is the directory. Previously I asking now. So where is storing this overall? So I want to release the request. When you go for directory level, the power phrase there. Where we go, they will go for quality buffer. Again, the quality buffer will be hanging as a file. What happened? Two files. What the file? One is one is for data file, one is for control file. Again, I want to input the quality system. Again, I want to input into the production system. This is the depth level. I want to input and export exporting by diagrammic okay. level. And even yeah. SAP, yeah, the very the SAP names. How the importing process is going on. So everything is there and production profiles based on the Again, status. What is the meaning status? Zero. Is there a seven transport is there? Okay, transfer successfully. Then go for three is nothing but so log symbol is nothing but the last word also logs. Okay, this is status and request types. How to import all requests at a time? This quality of the main. So this is the overview of DMS configuration. Let's check it that our server is active now. Saki, check the server is active now. Yeah. Again, stuck Login is Yeah. Login is done. Yeah, is. Find copy run is currently active. So once you, this is the overview for TMS configuration. Okay, you have to go for advanced topics and, and tomorrow you can discuss it as a kernel operation. Okay. Okay, kernel operation how to already I had to further kernels to your mail ID. Please download 